playing some door kickers too. Again, trying to use some realistic SWAT doctrine to play this video game. Like I've said before, um, this game is really good at showing how our tactics work. So we're here in a randomly generated level and our goal here is to capture an HVT. So we will go ahead and get started. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and take these guys off of quiet mode. All right, so we've got a long hallway here. Um, we've only got one door that we need to worry about. Uh, we're obviously going to assume that we've got cover going up and down the stairs where we're at. We're, we're pretending we're a SWAT team, so this is like a warrant service. So we've only got six people here. Um, the only real threat is going to be down this hallway at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to push some people past. Uh, we're going to have at least one holding long. So in order to get across this door safely, we're going to go ahead and bring him across and we're going to have him looking at the door the whole time. And we're going to use his plates as he turns sideways to protect this guy as he pushes across. So we'll have him push across and he is going to be looking down here the whole time. He's just holding long. So. We'll have them go across at the same time. His plates are protecting him. And then we'll go ahead and get everyone else stacked up on this door. So you can see how his plates covered him as he was moving across. So, typical door entry here. Uh, we've got the door on the north side, the door handle on the north side. So this green is gonna be our breacher. I'm gonna go ahead and have him pull back slightly so that he can provide cover as this guy opens the door so i'm gonna have him open this door swing it open all right so he did catch a glimpse as he came in so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have this guy push across and this guy come in so i want him to turn immediately as he comes in and you'll see by pushing this guy across and him coming in as opposed to him coming this direction and him going across we're gonna have two muzzles come through this door at pretty much the same time to be able to neutralize this threat if this is a threat i'm not sure if this is a threat or just a civilian at this point so he's gonna come across gun pointed this direction he'll flow in behind next we're gonna have these guys come in and establish their points of domination. All right, so that ended up being just a civilian, which is all good. So now we've got two doorways that we need to worry about. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this guy back into the relative cover of the door frame there. So he's still watching out towards our lawn. So I'm gonna have these guys hold on this door while these two come across. I'm gonna move him to the center slightly. And again, we've got the door handle on this side, so I'll have him swing this door open so that he gets a view inside. All right, so this is cleared from this direction. So again, same thing, there could be a bad guy in this corner. So I'm gonna push him across while immediately looking this way as he's already seen that this is cleared and I'll have him come in and do that button hook. All right, so this area is cleared out. We can have them rejoin up here. All right, so now we've just got a single door. This is a really tight space. Um, that we can't really fit two people in very well. So what I'm gonna do is pull these guys across and I'm gonna try and squeeze him in here. 
So now, one thing that we can talk about here real quick is this guy is holding long coverage out here, but he's literally directly in line with this door. So if we swing this door open and there's a bad guy shooting through here, he's going to hit all of us uh, for no reason. So for a moment, I'm going to pull him out into the hallway and then we will have him swing this door open and he is looking into the room. All right. So again, we see a door here and we've got empty space over here. So I'm going to push across, get another muzzle into this door, into this corner as quickly as possible. He will come around. And then after he's cleared this direction, he's going to immediately come back to this door and we will have the rest of the team flow in behind. Holding. All right. So that area is clear. Again, you can see how quickly we had to muzzles into that deep corner of the room so now i can go ahead and pull him back in here so he's not just standing out in the hallway and we just have this one door to worry about here so i'm going to pull him over get these guys ready to come in all right so he'll be watching the door. We're going to breach again from that door handle side. We'll just swing that door open. All right. So now these guys can see that this is cleared, but we can see a window here. So there could very well be someone on the outside here. And then we still obviously have this side of the room to clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push one this direction and one this direction. So we're both gonna sort sort of button hook this door and then he's gonna pick up this window and then the rest of the team is gonna flow in behind. So what I want is for him to clear out this side. He's gonna come up to the window and clear as much of that as he can. Now the next two will fill in this direction. They're here! All right. So looks like there's a whole another balcony area out here, um, and he's a machine gunner who's doesn't have a machine gun at the moment, so he's probably going to go run and find one. So we can see into this room pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and. Pull this guy down to here so that he can look this direction. Holding. So we do still have a slight bit of empty space that we haven't cleared there. Um, but now these guys are able to watch this courtyard pretty freely. So all we really have left here is this room and there is not a good way to jump across this. I really don't want to have my dudes jumping out through there. So we're going to finish clearing this room and then we're actually going to run all the way around to this other side um, to continue clearing the structure. So I'll go ahead and pull these guys up real quick and I'm going to get them him started coming over here. All right, again, we'll open this from the door handle side. And we will go ahead and clear this out. All right, so I'm going to leave these two guys here. Um, he's sort of surrendering, I guess. So we're going to leave a lethal coverage on him. And I'm going to give him some backup there. So we'll go ahead and get these guys to come around. And we'll stack up to go attack the rest of the building. All right. Get those guys headed out. Got 
four bodies here. There's no reason to just have one guy peek around. We want to overwhelm anyone with firepower if there's a bunch of dudes standing out right here. So I'm going to push him across a little bit more. While looking down. Alright, so that whole area is cleared out. So now we've got two doors that we can attack. We'll go ahead and attack this first door. So I'm going to pull, pull him. I don't want this one. I want him come here. Green to come behind, yellow, and orange. All right, so now that we're here, we're gonna do the same deal that we did down here. Uh, we're gonna push one across to keep watching this door. As he goes across, we're gonna have him block the door with his body armor, and these two will stack on the door. So, I want you that is not what I want. I want you to come here while looking at this door. I want you to be looking at this door and you're gonna come across. And y'all two can come here. Alright, so the goal there was to have his body armor block in this door as he pushed across. I'm going to go ahead and back him up just a little bit. Alright, so now, same deal as before. Uh, we're going to open reach from the door handle side. And everyone else will flow in. I'm going to have him sort of do a center check. This is pretty much cleared. So, I'm going to have him come to this door. And these guys flow in. So now I'm going to have him just block this door because um, we've only got two, two assaulters that we can really use at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and pull him in for a moment and then these two are going to clear out this room. So same deal, we'll open that door. Alright, so we got two, two down here. This guy looks like he's no longer surrendering. So I'm going to pull this guy over here. Yeah, so he went ahead and armed himself. So that's good that we kept these guys down over here. So he's going to continue to watch this room. Keep an eye on those two doors and these two We'll take this room quickly. Alright, and that's why we had him through here. But now we need to hurry up and get some more guns in this fight. Alright, so both of these doors are open now. So, <clears throat> what we're going to have to do is have these guys take this corner at the same time. I'm going to have him push across and be watching this door at the same time. I want him to be looking into this room so that his plates are covering him. After he does a center check, we will take this room. So you can see that his body armor is blocking him nicely. So we've cleared most of this room with the center check. I'm going to go ahead and clear the rest of this room. Boom, there we go. Now we can bring these guys out. 
And I am going to go ahead and keep these guys over here, providing this cover on the back side of the building. And then hopefully we'll be able to bring them around in a second. If we can, hopefully. All right. So this door is already open. So we're going to do a center check and then flow in. So on this center check, we're going to clear the majority of the room. After he clears the majority of the room, he's going to come in and turn this direction before picking up that door again. Our number two guy is going to send it into this corner. So as you'll see, watch when these two come through the door. We're going to have two muzzles pointed in the corner at the same time. And then we'll have him establish a point of domination there. Boom. Two, two muzzles right, right on him. Like super fast. That's why we do. It's called running the rabbit. That's why we run the rabbit this way. We move towards the known while looking at the unknown. And this guy's coming into the unknown. But that gives us two muzzles there very fast. All right. So we'll get everyone turned this direction. Again, this is a small doorway. So it's hard to fit two people in here. But we will go ahead and open this door. Holding. Center check's done. So again, we've got a window here. So this is essentially like having two two open spaces since we can see through that, through that window. So I'm gonna have this guy clear here while he picks up the window. All right. So we can say now that this has all been cleared. So now we're going to push these guys back out and we're going to four man clear through this door. So let's get everybody outside. Holding. All right. So same deal here. We're going to pull him across and have his plates on that door we're gonna breach from this side all right we can cancel his orders now and have him check the door as he opens it Holding. all right so we took out two right there this room has been cleared and then the balcony's fairly well been cleared so the next we'll go ahead and send one across to check out that last little bit of space but then we've got another door here that we're gonna have to pick up so i'm going to have him come across while he comes in and holds this door and the rest can follow in So I'm just going to have him look into that corner real quick. All right. So here we go again. We'll have him reach the door again on the door handle side and he'll be able to see into this room as he opens it up. He should have a good angle into this area as well. So we're going to take him out. Now this guy can push across. While looking in and he can come this way all right so the room's cleared we're gonna want him to pick up this door and then pick up this door so next we're going to go ahead and take this door while he is staring there. Holding. We'll have him kick the door. So we've got one more door and then empty space here. So he's going to come in, check this corner and then pick up on that door. 
All these guys blow in. Hold it right there! Don't move! Alright, so this is our guy that we're supposed to be doing the warrant service on. So we're gonna have a hands team and a cover team. He'll take hands, hands while he covers. Boom. We've got him secured. So now we just have a very small amount of this compound left. I'm gonna have him clear this room with him. And that was the last bad guy in there. So we captured our warrant guy and we went ahead and killed the rest of the bad guys. So let's go ahead and watch it through. All right, so we're holding a long coverage, using plates to protect him as he goes across. Breach from the door handle side and flow in. Bring him out of the hallway. Next, we take these two, reach the door handle side, and we get two muzzles in that corner quickly. Now we get everyone stacked up, and we send him out of the line of fire. Holding. Two muzzles in the corner quickly. Bring him back in. Again, here we got the double threat area. They're here. Holding. So we keep some cover on him while we clear out the last little bathroom. Now we don't want to take a step across, so we're just going to leave these two holding cover this direction while everybody else moves to the next breach point. Clear that hall. Same thing as before, we're going to get everyone move in this direction. We're going to pick up on this door while protecting this guy with our plates. Reach the door handle side, center check, clear this room. Put a body on this door so that we can enter here. Keep this guy holding coverage here as these two guys come out. Then we can push across. So, we put plates on here while we cover him going long, clear out this room, on to the next, we'll do a center check and then get two muzzles in the corner, super fast, take out him, now again we've got two empty spaces, Holding. center check clear, and then we clear out the rest of the balcony. So now we'll move our people to the last door. Alright, everybody's ready. We'll push across. And breach. Center check shows two bad guys. Take them out. Push into this hall so that we can clear out the rest of the balcony. It's cleared. Now we've got four people to take this room. Center check shows one. Now we need to clear this corner. Two muzzles on it. Very nice. Two doors. So we'll pin this door while we open up this one. And here's Don't our move. bad guy that we have our warrant for. So we've got a hands team and a cover team. In case he tries to do anything funny. Open up that door. And we find the last bad guy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Got to see some of the reasons why we do what we do. Um, running the rabbit priorities work, stuff like that. So, like I said, still pretty new at this game. But it is really good at being able to visualize um, our tactics and why we do what we do. So if you liked, liked the video, if you would please subscribe, drop comments down below on videos that you'd like to see in the future, any suggestions that you have, um, I'd really appreciate it. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.